You know, the most surprising thing about this poll was I didn't realize you guys were all such big Daft Punk fans. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks, Ace here, and I hope you're doing well. Now, today's video is actually going to be working on Around the World in 80 Plays. That was the most popular, best slots in my Vegas that we had left, and you guys wanted to see me play that. This also happens to be my very favorite game on the uh, Facebook version of the game, so I'm definitely really excited about this. And, you know, honestly, uh, Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne is one of my favorite novels of all time, too. Really excited to go ahead and get this one started. Uh, they did a little bit of a remix to it and uh, kind of changed up the themes like they usually do in the uh, in the My Vegas slot series and it, it, it's always really fun. Now it's a little more difficult on mobile because the uh, because the picking sections for the bonus are a little bit smaller, uh, so it's a little harder to see. But I'm hoping on the emulator I'll have an easier time seeing everything and then we can probably see if we can get around the world in 80 actual plays here. So yeah, let's go ahead and download it and get started. Ah oh, man, that music is nostalgic. This was uh, this was my bread and butter game just when I first started playing this game here. And you know, we're coming up on the end of the series. How about we just go hard with this? Let's spin. <laughs> that sounds like a notification from YouTube. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'll check that in a minute. But you know what? Since we're uh, coming up on the end of the series, let's go ahead and spin down. We're going to go ahead and spin at 4.5 million per spin, meaning we're going to put 450 million chips through the, through the machine here, and we're going to see how many good bonuses we get. So let's go ahead and get this started. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. Okay, so wilds are usually pretty plentiful in this game over here. It looks like they've got some pretty low-level uh, returns on the bet, though, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a disappointment. But, uh, you know, it's early in the game. It's anyone's race. We'll see how the whole thing goes. All right, so, uh, a su oh, yeah, and that reminds me. So when we get the bonuses, you actually get, uh, when you hit get the bonus, it fills up a meter, and then the more bonuses you get, the faster the meter fills up, and then the closer you get to the Around the World bonus, which is when you get to uh, pick out your own. Oh! Off to find six objects before our time runs out. Let's go, guys. So we're going to Japan. We got to get noodles, candle... Newspaper, whole nine yards, I think I can do this. Let's go. All right, and then we can zoom in and find objects, use hints and all that too. So let's go. Okay, so we got the newspaper over here. Japanese flag is usually in the background over here. I see the dog on this side, candles over here. I never remember where the noodles are. I think they're on here. And then I think there's a fan in this section, and it looks like it only took us four days to do that. Good show, we found six items with days to spare. Let's go and get our free spins. 12 free spins. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. This is probably like the weakest soundtrack, though. I like the music, but it's just done so like 8 bit here. I like how they have all the actual characters from the uh, from the novel represented on the reels, too. So that's pretty cool. Especially the evil detective fix who's trying to get us, uh, get us kicked out of the orphanage. <laughs> He's the worst. All right, cool. Also wanted to go ahead and thank you guys for joining uh, me and uh, John from uh, Vegas Tips and Tricks for the podcast on Sunday. I know the last half of the podcast wasn't super uh, cheery or anything like that, but, you know, I think it's an important topic. Uh, and let's carry on now. Yeah, I think it's a very important topic, and I'm really glad that we uh, brought it up. Uh, it's big thing to talk about, especially since homelessness is such a huge thing in Vegas. I see it every time I go. I'm sure you guys see it every time you go to. And, you know, it's something that I'd like to see an end to. Now, is it ever, there's, is there ever really going to be an end to homelessness? No. And I'll tell you why. It's not capitalism. It's not greed. It's, you know, there, there's so many different factors to it. It's so complicated. Just the whole problem of, uh, homelessness in general. Because some, you know, some people are, uh, you know, it, it, sometimes it's transient. Sometimes it's like, you know, they had to get out of a bad position and didn't have anywhere to, to go from there. So there's that. I, from what I understand, apparently, according to Las Vegas Sun, about 80% of Vegas homelessness is because of uh, foreclosures or, uh, you know, just a bad relationship or something along those lines. A bad domestic situation having to get out of that quickly as a result. So is a pretty terrible thing. I think that's always kind of going to be a constant. I don't, I, I can't say that uh, with any 
confidence so that's something that we're going to get rid of very quickly as a society and it's disappointing as it is to say it is unfortunately something that we deal with uh, every day in society too so there's that um drug addiction is another big reason that was cited in a couple articles i read uh gambling addiction is a huge one too so unless you really get rid of the option to gamble which well i i, I can say that that isn't the only reason that people get addicted to gambling because we do have gambling addicts worldwide we have gambling addicts in colorado even here too where it it takes a while to get up to the casinos because they're up in the mountains and they're away from the rest of the city. We still have gambling addicts here because, well, you know, it's not limited to places with uh, casinos in close proximity. But, you know, um, if, if you're an alcoholic and you work in a liquor store, you're going to have a much tougher time with your alcoholism. And I think you're going to see some more alcoholics if they're uh, surrounded by liquor all the time. So, just saying. Just saying. That's my thought. But no, thank you guys so much for uh, doing that, and also for sitting through my uh, sitting through my rants about children in Vegas and about how I'm uh, pretty anti anti kid in Vegas. If you're pro kid in Vegas, that doesn't mean I have anything against you. Go for it. You know, if you got the parenting skills to get your kid through Vegas successfully uh, without any major questions and without any uh, any major issues, anything like that, I say, hey, welcome to it. Uh, the only thing I can really say is, you know, get those babies off the street by nine. It's it's adults only after sundown. Get them off the street, you know. Get the get those kids to bed. Just get them to bed. It's it's not good for them to be out in all that crazy stimulation at you know God knows what hour anyway. Because <laughs> we see that year round. Anytime that uh, anytime I'm in Vegas for whatever reason, there's always uh, there was always a toddler taking up half the sidewalk. I don't know don't know how don't know why. That's just always how it is. But you know. Uh, post the family renaissance of the 90s. I think there is still some good stuff for kids and good stuff for families in general. Now, if you have older children, uh, you know, children in their late teens, early 20s, I highly encourage a, uh, a family trip to Vegas just because then you guys can all appreciate everything. Everyone can go to the Cirque show. Uh, you can all, I mean, you, you, you can, you know, help your kid out a little bit on the casino floor so they don't lose all $20 that they saved out of their, uh, <laughs> out of their paycheck, out of their college paychecks, uh, from that retail job that they, that we all worked, let's be honest, we all worked Best Buy, we all worked Target, we all worked whatever, <laughs> to get through college, so, yeah, the, the 20 bucks that we saved out of that, yeah, you don't want to waste that immediately, so I think it's actually really a good thing to have, to have family there, to mentor your, uh, first time Vegas go, or, I think that's a great thing, I just don't think, it's a strong place for children. So, anyway, that, that that's my uh, follow-up rant there. I'm glad you guys listened to that. And I'm actually looking t- forward to uh, wrapping this series now. Uh, we've gone so far from when we first started with Excalibur and played so many games and won so many loyalty points and we spent so many loyalty points. Like, we're spending some loyalty points actually uh, next week, uh, next Tuesday. We're going to be in Vegas, too. Um, I should have a video up Monday. Um, I probably won't, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can do a live stream on Tuesday, just, uh, playing some, maybe playing some slots, or hopefully playing some, uh, some of the bubble craps, too, that'd be pretty fun, So I do like the craps, uh, now, now that I've had a chance to research and do some reading on it, and it looks like we might be making it to Spain, guys, are we gonna make it to Spain, are we gonna go ahead and get another spin going here, I really hope we're gonna get some free spins, uh, we're down a few, uh, a few hundred million, though, coming through this, uh, I think we're about 80% done with the spins, and we we got some big big ones that kept us afloat for a while. Um, but I definitely will admit that this isn't quite as easy as the uh, Facebook version of this game. But man, are we killing it in the loyalty points over here? 2,000 already, no questions asked. No padlock either, so I say we keep going. Alright, also if there's anything that you guys want me to try out while I'm at Vidara, Definitely uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'll see if I can work it in. But right now, while we're working on it, let's go ahead and get this bonus. Okay, so we got brushes, map, and a doll to find. I know where the doll usually is in the Facebook version of the game. And all right, so Facebook version of the game, the doll's usually up here. And then I got to find the map, which was over here, but I have no idea where it is now. And I clicked something. I think it was a telescope. I don't know what the brushes are. Like paint brushes, maybe? Uh, I know where the eagle is, so that's cool. Frying pan was over here in the Facebook version, but it's apparently not. Sombrero, I know what that is. And then the cat's over here. So, okay, cool. We got 52 days left. That's pretty good. 
Doesn't look like we're going to make it to England, though, guys, but we are definitely going to get uh, 15 free spins over here. Let's go. Let's go. Story arc. Good time. Nice. Eight and a half milli. Or 8.8, .8, I think that was. Ooh, that was another big win. 38 million. That's what's up. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, let me know if you guys have anything else that you want me to do. I'll, I'll see if I can do some strip walks. I'm definitely ready to do some uh, casino and uh, hotel tours, too. Um, I had to get a different camera, though, for the casino tours because I've been, uh, you know, it's, it's very frowned upon to record in the casino, so I had to do a little something else. Um, now, I'm not going to focus on anyone's faces or anything like that. People do deserve their privacy, but I don't really see a real problem with wandering around the casino and just getting a feel for the layout because I really just kind of want a feel for the layout, and that's all I'm trying to record. So um, I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to do it because, you know, the walls have ears. But you guys will see it. Um, unfortunately, you, you're gonna see a, you're gonna see a difference in the video somewhere. Just want to let you guys know that that's gonna be a thing that happens. All right, and we got our. Uh, it was right down here. We got our souvenir, and we're on our way to jolly old England, here from Spain. And then let's go. We only got like, uh, I think 15 spins to go right after this one. Yeah, this will be that's number 85 there. So yeah, let's go ahead and get these last 15 spins. But yeah, less than a week out, so excited, then we're going to go ahead and buy our tickets for uh, December, too. Uh, so that'll be uh, that'll be a couple strips, that'll be fun. It's going to be me and the boss lady. And then trying to trying to meet up with a couple subscribers that are going to be in the neighborhood, too. Um, if you guys are going to be in the neighborhood in December or in November, go ahead and comment down below, too. Let me know, drop me a line on the uh, Facebook group, because, you know, I'd love to meet you guys. Uh, maybe just order a big bucket of beers. We can all hang out. It, it'd be really fun. I have a lot of fun talking to you guys, not just on the YouTube comments, but also on Instagram and Twitter and, you know, just checking out uh, what you guys have to say in the uh, other bigger Facebook groups that I'm also part of. A lot of you are in the Win Slots groups and the My Vegas Gifts Guides and Giveaways groups and all that. So always, always excited to meet new people, um, especially people that know me <laughs> and I ha haven't gotten a chance to get to know yet. So, all right, here we go. Let's see. What's our last spin? What's our last spin? We got one more, and let's go. Boom. Okay. Ended it on a 5 million. So I think we did lose some chips over here, guys. Uh, putting 450 million chips through the machine actually wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. Um, we have ended with 1,534,795,000. 324 chips. So let's go ahead and take a quick break here. I'm going to do some maths, and we'll uh, count up the booty. Okay, guys, and we are back to it. So all things considered, I don't think around the world treated us too poorly. Um, we actually ended up losing about 64,267,400 chips, leaving us with a payback percentage of 85.71%. So actually pretty respectable. Um, still definitely one of my personal favorite uh, games in my Vegas slots, at least on the desktop version, and it's not too bad on the mobile version as well, but it does not give us the uh, payback percentage to warrant the heart over here, so we're not going to get a favorite. Uh, so, that being said, last few games that we have left, guys, we have Real Chef, uh, 1001 Wilds, uh, we also have Real Amigos, and Sherlock Hound, uh, or is it Sherlock Hound, excuse me, Sherlock Hound, so... Let's not go ahead and uh, forget about that. So let's go ahead and make sure we get those games all voted for. I'll go ahead and put up a, um, a poll in the community section. You guys can go ahead and check that out by just going straight back to the profile. And then it's going to be under the community tab there. So don't forget to go ahead and do the voting. I'll make sure I post that up uh, tomorrow too. And we'll be good to go. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, guys, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Wishing you strong hands, happy spinning. And yeah, we'll see you in Vegas.